Welcome back to the K1 World Grand Prix 2022 Japan. This is the Yokohama Matsuri here at the Yokohama Arena. I'm Russell Goodall. And I'm Nicholas Pettis. We have a K1 under 56 kg catchweight fight between uh, Japanese fighter Masashi Kumura versus from Thailand, Compet Sitsarawatsa. So, Compet has 80 wins uh, coming from this Muay Thai background, uh, but also a lot of fights in, at BBTV. 12 knockouts, we'll see what happens against Kumura. Uh, this is the younger Kumura out of the Kumura brothers. Yeah, Come I actually have uh, good expectations for him. Mm. I think he'll do really well in this fight. Coming up fighting uh, someone from other associations at the, the match, and uh, here he is <gasps> in this 56 kg catch weight. Let's see what happens, round one. Starting off with a kick from Compet. He's always fighting in his unique shorts. Wow. <laughs> That's what I would yeah. call it. Yeah. Oh, this is interesting way to start a fight for these guys. Compet is like fast. Wow, this almost looks like it's speed up. <laughs> yeah, really fast. <laughs> Wait, he's only 22 years old? Stupidly young and fast. What? <laughs> At 80 wins? <laughs> 80 wins and he's 22. That's what they do in Thailand. I don't know how they do it, but... Uh, oh, they start very, very young. Yeah. That's not including his 200 amateur fights. <laughs> Well, like I said, I have actually got good expectations for him. I think he'll do really well. Kumura? Yeah. yeah. See? Nice block. Oh, that was good post. Oh, oh man. Oh, holding post. He's got to get a run for that one. Or at least a caution. Yeah. How many times he has to do that before he actually gets a point? What if he knocked him out with that post? What would that would have been illegal technique, but he's still doing the drop. Oh, good punch. Oh, nice low kick. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's got absolutely no fear. It's beautiful. Mm, keep blocking that low kick. <laughs> <laughs> taunting him to kick him again. He's getting his own low kick actually attaching to his leg. That's good. Oui. Yeah, but I mean, it's just, it's just the way you've been brought up to fight when catching is okay. It's really hard to get rid of something like that. Oh, oh yeah. Ten seconds. Uh, you have five seconds left in this. Oh, he's hurting with yeah. the low kick. What a fantastic yeah. first round. That was exciting, actually. The pace was high. It was good. They were both good. And then Kuna seemed to find his pace halfway through it. He's good, that's for sure. They're both good. Nice match. Yeah, really nice match. Compared from Thailand. It's funny to see Kumura actually <laughs> leaning into that, oh yeah, kick me harder because it's not hurting. Kinda. <laughs> you know the, the, the acrobatics yeah. of like taunting your opponent in the ring? Which a lot of the Muay Thai fighters do when they're actually getting hurt. When so they getting hurt, what is yeah. the message that he's sending there? <laughs> yeah, true. I think he's fine because he really blocked a lot of those low kicks. Mm. And you can really hurt someone blocking a low kick. Second right. Second if it goes really bad, you can break a leg. <laughs> Crunch. Yeah. Oops. Uh, well, it's, you know, knee to the shin, basically, so. No!
And if he's an expert on breaking bones, we have Nick right here. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. <laughs> okay, so back Whoa. to round two. Again, see, he blocks those low kicks really good. Man, he's fast. The criminal is wordy. And you don't see this very often, someone being that confident against a Muay Thai fighter with such experience. It's beautiful. Wow. Kind of feels like that something magical might happen at some point here. Yeah. Man, they're really just laying it into each other. Back and forth, back and forth. A little bit of opening and just some punch. No, but this is all about, you know, who's gonna like take one down, who's gonna yeah. wear down before the other. All it takes is one clean hit. Again, holding and punching, giving another warning. Yeah, it's in his body, he can't. Oh. Oh. Nice low kick. I swear he's hurting on the low kick. That was a good combination. Mm, fast. Wow, okay, that was great low kick. <clears throat> I want to see this move. I want to see this like a half speed, you know. There's so much happening there. Whee! It's funny to see how um, Compet is actually moving like that. How he's slipping punches by stepping sideways sometimes. An incredibly like, well-timed movement. Because he's not like moving his head very much. See? He just debated that with him again. He's doing a lot of fights in his life. Yeah, but he's really good at keeping his distance. <laughs> not so good at hitting that right low kick because Kumba keeps blocking it. Mm. Oh, nice. close. <laughs> oh, that one, that one connected. Yeah. What a great round. Like I said to you early on, I really had good, high expectations mm. to the fight as well. He really has. I'm looking forward to really seeing more, but uh, this is in round three. I'm lucky more I've seen so far, but what does Kumura or Compact need to do if they want to win this? You said something could happen. Yeah, well, I mean, it only really takes like, the right timing to get the mm. right player, right? They both have the striking power and everything, they but do. there's something about the way Kumura is putting pressure on him that seems to work in his favor, um, so that he's like evading a lot. And that's actually, that's quite the accomplishment. Mm. Well, three coming up for these two Kandyao fighters in the round of Oh, look at that. Is he still swimming? <laughs> it's, it's hard to say. Could be. Definitely doing way more workload in this round. I kind of feel like Complete uh, is probably feeling that he's lost around, oh. so he needs to make up for it in round two. Also, with that fighters, generally speaking, they go hardest in the last round. Oh, okay. Or in the third round. Mm. 
Great low-key climbing there for both of them, actually. Oh, man. There's some big bunches. Someone could drop. Oh, great. Look at that. Better boxing here from Kompe for sure. Oof. We've got a whole different conversation going on between them in their eyes. <laughs> their bodies are doing a lot and they're still yeah, talking yeah. to each other. It, it is a conversation. Yeah, and even if it was slow in the, in the lead case, we like too fast. <laughs> this is round three. They have not slowed down at all. So smooth. Yeah. It's like. Yeah, this is really hard to jack. Wow. He just evades this guy right there. Seconds are always the longest 10 seconds. Oh, yeah. Hope it won that round for sure. For sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you get to give it a, a scorecard, mm. maybe 29, 29. Mm. Could be. Could be. 20, 30. 30. Oh, here in the K1. Wow. Yeah, I think he deserved that. I mean, he definitely took the last round. Whoa, he's doing a little bit of a... See, he's still fit. Oh, he could totally do 20 rounds five. like that. Yeah, 20 <laughs> rounds. There he is. He's uh, putting on the Thailand flag there. Man, yeah. He could go out and run like a whole full marathon. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic shape, but these guys never slowed down in three rounds. They just kept going. It's going to be interesting to see him coming back again. And this Kumido, who, who, you know, no doubt put up a really good fight, too. It's his brother in the corner there, actually. Yeah. You know, this is something we play there. Oh, you see? He almost got him with that shot. Oi. See? He evades all those punches. Yeah, so smooth. So smooth. Close, but just just dodges it up. He'd be really good at like dodgeball. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? He's like <laughs> left right fighting. Yeah. My goodness. <laughs> it is well folks. Thanks very much, Charles. K1 World Grand Prix 2022 Japan. Yokohama Matsuri, thank you for watching. This was Russell Goodall. And Nicholas Pettis.